Hey everybody, I'm downtown Fernandina Beach, Florida. Downtown Fernandina Beach, Florida is the most northern east coastline uh, city in Florida. It's also where Fort Clinch is located. It's not here, but it's down the road from here. Just walking around here and checking out the, it's a neat downtown. I've been here a couple of times, not many. But my family, they're down there in one of these shops. This is a place you would think today's so beautiful. The sky is like as blue as can be. You'd think this was a Southern California day, but it's just a, an East Coast, uh, North Florida day. And uh, I'm gonna walk around here and check some stuff out. There, there are those clothes stores. You know those clothes stores? I don't do clothes stores. I don't really do clothes. I just I, I, like she might bring me home something to wear. I don't have this like vast wardrobe. Uh, so I don't like going to clothes stores and I'm not into the newest trends and things like that. But anyway, it's a neat place. Might go right over here's an ice cream store. We may go over there and get some ice cream in a little bit. But just gonna walk around and if you go all the way to the end down here is uh, is a river. So the uh, Amelia River, I think is what it is. Not 100% sure, but we'll go down there and check that out and uh, see if we can see a boat or something. Oh man, does she like to wear those? Oh yeah. Is it a he or she? He. It's yeah. a he. <laughs> How do you like, he like that? Sitting down there with a cup of coffee. <laughs> that is something. Can I pet him? Oh yeah. Hey buddy. You got cool shades on. You got cool shades on. Have a great day. <laughs> but like John Lennon glasses. What a beautiful day today. It is just gorgeous. There is literally not a cloud in the sky. I see a jet stream way over there from a jet, but that's about all you see. I'm not sure how old Fernandina is. It's a pretty old town. It reminds me a lot of if you go to um, Savannah or if you go to St. Augustine, Florida. They have this same coast, coastal town look. We have a tavern over here. It's like I, I can hear uh, pool balls hitting, billiards. It says Uncle Charlie's Sports Spirits and Billiards. And there's a uh, pirate over there at the door to greet you. Arr, she's getting her picture made with Mr. Patch, the pirate. But the, the, it is just a beautiful day today. I'm gonna get ran over this intersection. I'm gonna go down here. I think I see a big sailboat. Or oh, there's a marina down here. Let me check this out. So this is at the end of the strip, which is a pretty long, this main street here is fairly long. You come to these railroad tracks because there is a, down here is this ginormous uh, crane. It's not like the Port of Los Angeles or anything like that, but there's some big cranes for unloading, offloading ships. And then back this way, you'll notice there's some smokestacks. That's a paper mill where they bring trees in. And you grind, they grind them into chips, and there's a, a pile down here, uh, wood chips, and then they pr they process the chips. Oh boy! Have you guys ever ridden a wave runner jet ski or whatever you call it? They have a lot of different names. It's just a habit. It's a lot of fun. So there's your big massive cranes to offload the uh, some kind of ship off. I mean this is a small uh, port it's not like you're gonna see big ships of, of, uh, too many big ships coming in here but and that dock there boy you better have a life raft that dock doesn't have any weight to come over here just cool 
Um, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'll try to zoom in, see if I can even see it on the camera. Off in the distance, there are two, let's see, right there, two structures. Those structures are at the Kings Bay Naval Submarine Base. So have you heard of those Trident submarines? Not Trident gum, but Trident submarines. They, uh, that's where they house those and they repair them uh, when they're not at sea. A lot of people around here are employed at the uh, Kings Bay Naval Base. But it's a neat place. I've driven a boat over near it and a big submarine came in one day. And it was an amazing thing to see one of these ginormous Trident subs uh, come by our little fishing boat. So the southeast of Georgia and the northeast of Florida, they have a lot of uh, shrimp boats. Not, not in this uh, uh, marina, but they have quite a few shrimp boats. Shrimping is a uh, pretty big industry around here. And I was just looking uh, up here on this pole. And someone had made a, looks like a bronze or brass or something shrimp boat up on this pedestal here. I thought that was really cool. I've never seen that before. And the, the monument that it's on, it says birthplace of the shrimping industry. So apparently, this is kind of where it got its start. I didn't know that. I know that there's a lot of shrimp boats around. Darien, Brunswick, Georgia, and I guess around here too, but I didn't know this was the birthplace. It's pretty cool. Even I can learn something. I thought I was so smart. So around these parts, you'll see, I've seen William Bartham Trail. I've seen signs like this quite a bit around here. I guess maybe this is on right where the trail used to be. I don't know. I, I do see some trails and they were left from birds. But anyway, it says in 1774, William Bartham, famed colonial naturalist, visited Amelia Island and recorded the flora and fauna of this area. What does that mean? Guys, if you want to impress the girl on the first date, come pick this up. Look at these big, ginormous chain links. Let's see if I can pick one up without pinching my finger. Oh yeah, that's heavy. You think that ever was really on a boat? I've always seen these kind of like ginormous anchors, but I've never really seen one hanging from the side of the boat that looks like this. And I've always wondered, how does it work? Because it lays on its side. It looks like to me it would have that big hook digging down in the dirt that way. I don't know. I'm not an anchor specialist either. I just know that chain's heavy. One day, guys. One day. Whew. What did that boat cost? It's called the Summer House. Amelia Island, Florida. I don't know if I mentioned, but Amelia Island is the island that Fernandina Beach is on. So we're on Amelia Island, but it's Fernandina Beach. This fella's name is, guess, guess what his name is? His name's Peg Leg. What's he made, what's old Peg made out of? He's made out of wood. He's carved out of wood. There's a plaque down here below him that says Peg Leg 10-14-1978 and then he was restored by the Fernandina Beach <laughs> Pirates Club in 07. Looks like he needs another restoration. He's starting to look a little frail. Looks like a woodpecker got to his heart right there. We're trying to chisel into his heart. And the poor guy needs to get some sleep. He's all bloodshot eyes. One other thing I just learned about my Florida history. I'm a, I'm a Georgian, not a Floridian. It says this was Florida's first Atlantic to Gulf Railroad and it was all orchestrated by Mr. Yuley, which is sitting right here. Yuley is a town just down the road, but this fella here apparently was the guy who orchestrated, was the mastermind between the Gulf Atlantic to Gulf Railroad. And he's just sitting here. He's either biding his time. Yeah, he's a... Uh, He's looking at his clock there. I thought it may be a compass. I thought he might be lost. But then he's got, also he's got some Fernandina Beach, uh, Fernandina maps here in his, 
and his brass tool, his brass uh, purse. It's just resting, chilling out. There is one thing that um, I know more about the North Florida and Southeast Georgia history is the Revolutionary War. Um, they, they had a, quite a bit that went on here. There are some places in Georgia, I, I can think of one called Bloody Marsh. It was where there was a skirmish or a fight and they said the marsh was red with blood from all the men. I don't know if that's a true or folk folklore or what, but there is a, here's a, here's a marker here. It says, the Revolutionary War invasion of British East Florida. So it used to be British, British East Florida. So in 1777, some people got in a fight and died. And it all happened about one mile from here. So this is the Palace Saloon. I already walked by Mr. Pirate here, didn't even realize it says Florida's oldest bar. Let's take a look at this. Got the old saloon door here too. Look at this place. Looks like it's like it would be in the Wild West. Too cool. I have scary guys. Bartender. Look like a whiskey fella. Thank you, sir. Enjoy. Oh, I'll cut it right there. <laughs> that was uh, true. Me and Gracie just got out of the saloon. <laughs> now we're going to go meet everybody else and we'll have an ice cream. There's another, there's another pirate. They're everywhere here. She's getting a, a small, like a single Got me some Rocky Road here. Where'd they go? There they are. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Rocky Road. What did you get? Coffee, cookies, and cream. Coffee, cookies, and cream. Oh, yummy. And Ruthie got a Rocky Road on a waffle cone. Is it good? Yummy. Save the clock tower. So I'm going to go check out Eight Flags Antique Market. Been in here before. This is a cool one. This one is really cool. Ruthie's trying to finish her ice cream. It says right here, no food or drinks permitted. So she's trying her best to get that thing down. You don't have to eat all that. It's a mishmash of everything. It's not any, there's nothing specific. You've got Beanie Babies. Hold on. These aren't Beanie Babies, are they? You've got a Coca-Cola turkey. You've got a T-Y. I don't remember what T-Y stands for. All kinds of stuff. Some old Wilson mitt there. Just like Andy Griffith would be throwing ball with that. There you go, there's some really old ones right there. Play ball! Here's a whole thing full of political pins. Ohio, Clinton. <laughs> McCain, Palin, Teen Gore. Remember that? Fiasco. Al Gore and George Bush. Wow, look at this. Oh, Bill Clinton. And then over here, oh, Mr. Uh, Chewbacca himself with, what's his name? Oh, Han Solo. Yeah. Han Solo. And, uh, oh, Darth Vader. Here's you a real picture of the real uh, Boba Fett. 
I know Hans, when he was stuck in that metal wall, whatever that stuff was called. What was that called? Um, it's, it's carbonite. Carbonite block. Oh, Hans, poor guy. Remember that? That was, when you watched that on the movie, it was like, because it was red, it was almost like it should have burned him up, but he was stuck in it. So who remembers when you had to put a flash on top of the camera? See that? And each time you took a picture, the flash blew. <clears throat> so it only flashed one time. Then you had to take and turn it, put it on the next one. Sometimes maybe they turn themselves, but it was good for one flash. So you could take four flash pictures with this one flash. And then the flashes removed like that. And you had to get a new one. Isn't that crazy? What we've come from. Now our phones have a flash. And it's not, you don't have to change anything. You don't even have to develop the pictures anymore. Technology. Crazy. Here's a match, a match stick. No, it's not match sticks. It's just tiny little pieces of wood. Almost looks like match sticks. It's like a little tiki hut type of, that's cool. It's even got glass windows check that out and then it's got a little lighthouse that it's got the stairs that goes up 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 to the top too cool looks like it may even have a light up there how much is this thing 69 dollars you could afford that what a sad face and a mad face. Ooh. And if you put a quarter in there, you get a stuffed animal. Just don't know how you're going to get him out of the little. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. Got something interesting here. This house was from 1860. And it says, uh, da, 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 this double galleried home constructed of hand-hewn lumber fastened with wooden pegs. It's one of the major points of interest in the Fernandina Beach Historic District. Hand-hewn, do you know what hand-hewn means? Hand-hewn means uh, the beams were like cut out with a broad ax, hand, not like, I mean, it could have been sawed too. But there's the house there. And it's, it's still occupied, not by the original owners, but by someone who acquired it back in the 1800s. That is really cool. So that house is put together with wooden pegs. Too cool. I think they need to clean the water filters. We're just getting drippage. All right, what's your name, little girl? Ruthie. Ruthie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well we're done with Fernandina Beach. You done with it? Yeah. Ready to go home? Go home. Ready to go home. So, had fun. It's it's a neat little town. Um, kind of busy, and that's what people like. And I like the quiet, go home, stuff like that. But anyway, all right. So close this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment and uh, like the video. And by the way don't stay at home all the time go somewhere new like this and uh, make your life an adventure too see you later bye bye